All right, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm gonna go over the upgrades that we made on the Giant Talon. And these were to make this bike better on the trails that we have around us. A lot of the trails we have around us are relatively new, so it's loose dirt, rock, um, small jumps, things like that. Um, but nothing nothing too extreme on the trails that are like in our, down the street from our neighborhood. So. Um, I'll start with the two cheapest items that we did on here, and that is going to be the grips and this new water holder. Um, the cool thing about this water jug holder is that it extends all the way out to where you can fit a Nalgene in it. And this is a $10 upgrade, um, and it's pretty, pretty nice to be able to carry a water bottle as big as now gene without having to have two mounts for two different water bottles so that was number one um number two is the corgi grips and let me get it to there we go it keeps trying to zoom in and out on these um so these are a ten dollar upgrade as well off amazon and i'll post the links below but 10 bucks and you get a way, way better grip. So it's important to know that the Giant Talon is an entry level mountain bike. So these upgrades just make it way better than stock. So for reference, these have two actual mounting points that are aluminum and then a new end cap, whereas other ones just slide over and they're really uncomfortable, really wear really quick. And these are just way more comfortable on your hands. Um, these are a quick install. These are probably about two minutes to put on, and that's with taking your old ones off and all that stuff. So the third upgrade, which was a little more expensive, is actually these pedals right here. And these have the actual little screw studs. So as far as traction keeping your feet on, these work a lot better than the plastic screw ones that come with these where these get really slick and they just start wearing out really, really quick. This one actually looks better than the other side. Um, the other side's already like damaged where these are coming off the little knobs on it. So that's another upgrade. And probably takes about two to five minutes to put them on and really, really simple install and adds a little flair to the bike. So the last upgrade we did was one of the more expensive ones. And that was the tires, tubes, and then the Kevlar lining. And the reason we did that is because one, the stock tires that we got with the bike, they were horrible for traction. I mean, the loose dirt, you were sliding everywhere. Um, There's lots of tree roots in some of these trails. So pretty much you were, you were getting flats all the time. I think we had like five or six flats on this bike. And these are the original tires, not horrible tires for an entry level mountain bike. Um, these are 27.5 by 2.2 But like I said the tread pattern you just slid all over the place especially on the downhill portions with the loose dirt So we upgraded to the Maxxis I think they're DRT or DHT one of those two um, And these are 27 by 5 2.4 we did the front and back and They just look really really good on the bike Today is gonna to be the first ride with them, so we'll see how they do with traction. The DHR is actually what they are. Um, but just solid looking tire. Makes the bike look a lot better, and hopefully they'll handle a lot better. Um, with this, we put Kenda tubes in it, and then also the stuff right here, which is Mr. Tuffy, which is essentially just a Kevlar lining that you roll around the inside of your tire and it adds protection against punctures and stuff like that. I'm actually running that in my Diamondback bike right here, my full suspension bike. And I've had no issues since putting those in um, and obviously running bigger tires on there as well. Um, but that's pretty much it for the upgrades so far on this. Uh, my wife is relatively new in the mountain bike world. Um, so entry level bike with modest upgrades, keeping this well, well, well below, you know, $800 total has been the goal. And you'll see she has a nice little 
seat. <laughs> but um, like I said, these upgrades just keep her on the trail. When you're, when you're sliding around and your bike's not functioning, your grips are tearing up, um, sliding off the pedal, pedals, no traction with tires, so things like that. So for me, I just want to keep her out on the trails and keep her, you know, learning, motivated, and you know, trying new trails and seeing how things go. But I think some of these upgrades, while they make the bike look better, uh, they will also help the performance, obviously, uh, especially with like the tires and stuff like that and, and the pedals. So just little upgrades that make it look better and perform better. And I'll do a follow review to all of these. Um, one thing I am worried about with the pedals is if there is a, a point where, you know, she does slip off, she's obviously going to catch it to the shin. It's probably going to cut her shin up, but I talked to her about it. So we're going to try and avoid that. But so far, these are the upgrades to the giant Talon. There is one more planned upgrade for this, and that is going to be a one by conversion. But at this point, I don't see the need to jump into that and do that. Tires and, you know, tires, tubes and stuff like that. That's mandatory because if your bike is constantly getting flats, then you obviously can't take your bike out and ride it. So that's why I did the upgrade with this. Could I have went with a cheaper tire? Absolutely. But this was a great tire. They're in stock. And for the longevity of the bike, I don't foresee her upgrading. So this is the perfect wheel and tire setup and then modest upgrades that will keep her on the trail.